Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel. Creeps, Miss Simmon. Thin, flaky pancakes, often served with honey, butter, or jam. Here's a basic recipe for making Moroccan Miss Simmon. Ingredients, two cups, all-purpose flour, one cup, fine semolina, one teaspoon salt, one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon, active dry yeast, one and a half cups, warm water, approx. Olive oil or vegetable oil for kneading and folding. Unsalted butter for serving. Honey, jam, or other toppings of your choice instructions. Activate the yeast. In a small bowl, combine the warm water and sugar. Stir until the sugar dissolves. Sprinkle the active dry yeast over the water and let it sit for about five, 10 minutes until it becomes frothy. Prepare the dough. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour, semolina, and salt. Pour in the activated yeast mixture and gradually mix to form a dough. Knead the dough for about 10, 15 minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. Divide and rest. Divide the dough into golf ball-sized portions. Coat each ball with a little olive oil, placing them on a tray and cover them with a damp cloth. Let them rest for about 15, 20 minutes. Stretching and folding. Take one ball of dough and on a lightly oiled surface, stretch it out as thin as possible without tearing. Brush the stretched dough with olive oil, then fold it into thirds. Repeat this folding process until you have a multi-layered square or rectangle. Cooking. Heat a pan or griddle over medium heat. Place a folded mesemin on the hot surface and cook on both sides until golden brown and cooked through. Machui, spit-roasted lamb, typically seasoned with cumin and coriander. Machui is a traditional Moroccan dish that involves slow roasting a whole lamb or sheep. The preparation and cooking method result in tender, flavorful meat with a crispy exterior. Here's a basic recipe for making machui. Ingredients. One whole lamb or sheep, cleaned and prepared for. Six cloves of garlic, minced one tablespoon ground. Cumin, one tablespoon ground. Coriander, one tablespoon paprika. One tablespoon ground. Ginger, one tablespoon turmeric, salt, and black pepper. To taste olive oil. Fresh herbs for garnish, optional. Instructions. Preparation. Ensure the lamb or sheep is properly cleaned and prepared. You can ask your butcher to do this for you. Make deep incisions into the meat to allow the marinade to penetrate. Marinade. In a bowl, combine minced garlic, cumin, coriander, paprika, ginger, turmeric, salt, and black pepper. Add enough olive oil to create a paste. Rub the marinade all over the lamb making sure to get it into the incisions. Allow the lamb to marinate for at least a few hours or overnight for more flavor. Roasting. Preheat your oven or outdoor grill to a low temperature, around 275-300 degree F or 135-150 degree C. If using an outdoor grill, set it up for indirect grilling. Place the marinated lamb on a rack in a roasting pan or directly on the grill. Slow roast the lamb for several hours, turning occasionally until the meat is tender and the skin is crispy. This can take four, six hours, depending on the size of the lamb and the cooking temperature. Resting. Once cooked, let the lamb rest for about 15, 20 minutes before carving. This allows the juices to redistribute throughout the meat. Serving. Carve the lamb into serving portions and garnish with fresh herbs if desired. Mashui is often served with flatbreads, couscous, or other traditional Moroccan side dishes. Moroccan BBQ. Grilled meats such as kebabs, brochettes, and merguez sausages. Moroccan BBQ 
often features a variety of grilled meats, and kebabs, brochettes, and merguez sausages are popular choices. Here's a simple recipe for Moroccan-style grilled kebabs. Moroccan grilled kebabs, brochettes. Ingredients. One pound, 450 G, beef or lamb, cut into cubes. One onion, finely chopped. Two cloves garlic, minced two tablespoons. Fresh parsley, chopped two tablespoons. Olive oil, one teaspoon ground. Cumin, one teaspoon ground. Coriander, one teaspoon paprika. One two teaspoon ground cinnamon salt and black pepper to taste wooden or metal skewers. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a bowl, combine the chopped onion, minced garlic, chopped parsley, olive oil, ground cumin, ground coriander, paprika, ground cinnamon, salt, and black pepper. Marinate the meat. Add the meat cubes to the marinade, ensuring each piece is well coated. Cover the bowl and let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least two, four hours, or overnight for more flavor. Skewer the meat. Preheat your grill or barbecue. Thread the marinated meat cubes onto the skewers, alternating with any vegetables you prefer, bell peppers, onions, cherry tomatoes. Grill the kebabs. Place the skewers on the preheated grill and cook for about 10, 15 minutes, turning occasionally, until the meat is cooked to your liking and has a nice char. Serve. Remove the kebabs from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes. Serve the kebabs hot with your favorite accompaniments, such as couscous, flatbreads, or Moroccan salads. Moroccan grilled kebabs, brochettes. Ingredients. One pound, 450 G. Beef or lamb, cut into cubes. One onion, finely chopped two cloves garlic. Minced two tablespoons, fresh parsley. Chopped two tablespoons olive oil, one teaspoon ground. Cumin, one teaspoon ground. Coriander, one teaspoon paprika. One, two teaspoon ground. Cinnamon salt and black pepper. To taste wooden or metal skewers. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a bowl, combine the chopped onion, minced garlic, chopped parsley, olive oil, ground cumin, ground coriander, paprika, ground cinnamon, salt, and black pepper. Marinate the meat. Add the meat cubes to the marinade, ensuring each piece is well coated. Cover the bowl and let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least two, four hours, or overnight for more flavor. Skewer the meat. Preheat your grill or barbecue. Thread the marinated meat cubes onto the skewers, alternating with any vegetables you prefer bell peppers, onions, cherry tomatoes. Grill the kebabs. Place the skewers on the preheated grill and cook for about 10, 15 minutes, turning occasionally, until the meat is cooked to your liking and has a nice char. Serve. Remove the kebabs from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes. Serve the kebabs hot with your favorite accompaniments, such as couscous, flatbreads, or Moroccan salads. Merguez sausages. Merguez sausages are another popular choice for Moroccan BBQ. You can either buy them pre-made or make your own. Ingredients. One pound, 450 G, ground lamb or beef, two tablespoons, harissa paste, two cloves garlic, minced one teaspoon ground, cumin one teaspoon ground, Coriander, one teaspoon smoked paprika. One, two teaspoon ground fennel seeds. Salt and black pepper to taste natural sausage casings, if making your own. Instructions. Prepare the sausage mixture. In a bowl, combine the ground meat, harissa paste, minced garlic, ground cumin, ground coriander, smoked paprika, ground fennel seeds, salt, and black pepper. Mix well. Make sausages. If making your own sausages, stuff the sausage mixture into natural casings, forming sausage links. Grill the merguez. Preheat your grill or barbecue. 
Grill the merguez sausages for about 15, 20 minutes, turning occasionally, until fully cooked and browned. Serve. Serve the grilled merguez sausages hot, either on their own or in a sandwich with bread. Sardines. Grilled or fried, often served with bread, grilled sardines are a delicious and nutritious dish that is easy to prepare. Here's a simple recipe for grilled sardines. Ingredients. Fresh sardines, cleaned and gutted. Olive oil. Lemon juice garlic, minced. Fresh herbs, such as parsley or thyme. Salt and pepper to taste instructions. Prepare the sardines. Rinse the fresh sardines under cold water and pat them dry with paper towels. If they haven't been cleaned and gutted, you can do so by cutting along the belly and removing the innards. Rinse the inside thoroughly. Marinate the sardines. In a bowl, mix olive oil, minced garlic, lemon juice, chopped fresh herbs, salt and pepper to create a marinade. Coat the sardines with the marinade, making sure to cover them evenly. Allow them to marinate for at least 15, 30 minutes to absorb the flavors. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Grill the sardines. Place the marinated sardines directly on the preheated grill grates. If your sardines are small, you can use a grilling basket or wrap them in foil to prevent them from falling through the grates. Cooking time. Grill the sardines for about three, four minutes per side, or until they are cooked through and have a nice char on the outside. The cooking time may vary depending on the size of the sardines and the heat of your grill. Serve. Once the sardines are grilled to perfection, remove them from the grill and transfer them to a serving platter. Jari grilled lamb liver skewers. Jari, which could be a term or name for grilled lamb liver skewers. If that's the case, here's a simple recipe for making grilled lamb liver skewers. Grilled lamb liver skewers. Jari. Ingredients. Lamb liver, cleaned and cut into bite-sized pieces. Olive oil, lemon juice garlic. Minced. Ground cumin. Paprika salt and pepper. To taste, wooden skewers. Soaked in water for about 30 minutes. Instructions. Prepare the lamb liver. Clean the lamb liver thoroughly and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Marinate the lamb liver. In a bowl, mix olive oil, lemon juice, minced garlic, ground cumin, paprika, salt, and pepper to create a flavorful marinade. Coat the lamb liver pieces with the marinade, ensuring that each piece is well covered. Allow it to marinate for at least 30 minutes to let the flavors penetrate. Skewer the liver. Thread the marinated lamb liver pieces onto the soaked wooden skewers. Leave a little space between each piece for even cooking. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Grill the skewers. Place the skewers on the preheated grill. Grill for about three, four minutes per side, or until the liver is cooked through. Be cautious not to overcook, as liver can become tough if cooked for too long. Serve. Once the lamb liver skewers are grilled to your liking, remove them from the grill and transfer them to a serving plate.